I heard about a third fight between you and Apollo behind closed doors. Is that true? How do you know all this? I'm a son. Rocky's story is pretty much done. And now it's a new idea, a concept I never even considered. It's about a rebirth of Rocky and this new character, Adonis Creed. A whole other generation. We all thought it was finished. Little did I know that there was a young man up in Oakland, California, that had an idea for a spinoff of Rocky that would create a whole new audience and continue on Rocky, but in a different way. Oh, oh. How I got into this movie was through my father. My father's a massive, massive Rocky fan. He can repeat all the lines, line for line. He and I are real close, and you know, I was an athlete growing up. What he would do is, before I have a big game, he might be sit down and watch Rocky II on VHS. Oh, yeah! Yeah. And that was my introduction to the character and to the story. Yo, Adrian! Adrian! Years later, after I moved down to LA and met Sly, kind of pitched him the idea in the room. And I could tell he was kind of looking at me like, man, this, this kid's crazy, you know what I mean? I thought, how interesting that someone of this generation would like a story that started two generations ago. So then I started to become very intrigued. So you're going to leave me too? You know how many times I had to carry the heavyweight champion of the world up these stairs because he couldn't walk. Ribs broken, nose broken, eyes swollen shut. Carl Weathers did such an incredible job with Apollo Creed, and it's an honor to be a part of the process and part of his legacy. And for Sly to take those characters that he created and entrusted in this next generation of filmmakers is pretty breathtaking. Your father was special. To tell you the truth, I don't know if you're special. Only you're going to know that when the time is right. Ryan was able to honor that tradition, but also tell a new story from his point of view. Well, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of taking on the name and losing. Call me a fraud. In this film, he's such a fresh voice that has something to say in a way that's human and honest. What's wrong with you? Hey, hey, somebody help! Rocky sick. If I break, I ain't gonna fix it. It's a very classic underdog story. The character is very relatable. It's a familiarity to him. You're sitting there crying about nobody's around for you. I'm here for you every day. I'm standing right in front of you. If I fight, you fight. It just goes to show the quality, you know, of work Sly did 40 years ago. You know, it's still relevant today, and it will be in another 40 years. No one could have ever planned this, but I'm so sort of grateful for it. A great fighter once said, it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. This guy here, that's the toughest opponent you're ever going to have to face. I believe that's true in the ring, and I think that's true in life. Just show me something.